is the gross appearance of cellulitis involving the lower leg. Cellulitis can be described as acute spreading diffuse suppurative inflammation with edema of the skin and subcutaneous tissues and it occurs most commonly on the lower legs and feet and cellulitis feels warm to the touch. Another feature is that the area affected by cellulitis is quite well demarcated. Cellulitis starts when bacteria gain access to the skin and subcutaneous tissues, when the integrity of the skin is just disrupted, for example, in athlete's foot, animal and insect bites, thorns from gardening, burns, cuts and abrasions, etc. In addition, some people are more at risk of developing cellulitis than others, and risk factors include obesity, an age over 50 years, people who are immunocompromised, diabetics, and peripheral vascular disease where there is ischemia, usually of a limb, and particularly the lower legs. The two bacteria that cause most cases of cellulitis are Staph aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes group A. And what is special about these bacteria is that they produce an enzyme called hyaluronidase. This dissolves or breaks down the connective tissues allowing the bacteria to spread through the skin and subcutaneous tissue. And if the cellulitis is not treated with antibiotics, then complications such as abscess formation, sepsis and death can occur. And this is what cellulitis would look like down the microscope. So this is a piece of skin, the capillaries are congested and dilated, and also the dermis is edematous, that means waterlogged. And here you can see as well as congested capillaries and edema there is a scattered inflammatory infiltrate. Just to quickly recap, cellulitis is a serious condition that needs to be treated promptly with antibiotics so it doesn't continue to spread. And one way to check that the antibiotics are working is to draw a line around the affected area and if the antibiotics are working then the affected area will be seen to shrink. Yeah.